the bat. We'll see how the coaching staff distributes minutes among the players. You don't want to overuse your guys tonight and leave them sluggish for tomorrow. It's about finding a balance. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. So the Warriors GA last summer deciding to maximize the Curry, Clay, Draymond timeline. And have slowly swapped their youth for vet contributors. Sit pool out for the veteran Paul. They know the window is closing and want one more title. It looks easy, effortless. Curry, natural from long range. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. Seven left to play in the first quarter. Fires the three. Warriors with the rebound. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to Sacramento. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. It's stolen by Green. Here he goes. And Green slams it in. And I love the physicality Draymond puts behind this drive. Get in his way at your own risk. Smith with a screen on Curry. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Puts up a deep three. Brooks grabs the board. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Warriors lead by two. Six. And the second Four quarter will get underway just Eight. after this short break. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. Tari Easton is out there with Alpern Shangoon. Then there's Reggie Bullock. Then there's Whitmore. And it's Thompson in at the one. That's the five for Houston right now. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started, the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Lee in hopes of stabilizing that roster. Now Easton following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga from deep. Shangun with the ball. Kaminga on him. Eason's shot is good. Eason's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Passes it to Kaminga. Charge dishes to Paul. Launches it. Rockets with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. You got to give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Yeah, they were really close right there. Just couldn't string together a few key plays to help get them over the top for the win. Rockets trail by three. Here's Shangun. Kicks it to Bullock. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Curry passes to Sharich. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. The pass to Bullock. Here's Shangun. Four seconds left. And the layup is up and in. Shangun, a force in the lane. That's where he does most of his damage. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Warriors ahead. Leading.
All right, thank you, David. Folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hi, folks, and welcome. This first half has been the Stephen Curry Show. He has just been everywhere. Excellent first half, scoring the ball, doing it efficiently. Dare I say, like one Shaquille O'Neal. Well, of course you shall. And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. Thanks for spending half. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Kevon Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. For the lead, he doesn't hit that one. Curry with the defensive effort. So if you look at the Rocket struggles, uh, Clark, over the last few seasons, what stands out to you? Well, I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor, Kevin. I mean, a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently. I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season. There's Looney. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboards. The Warriors shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And look back a season ago. They did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. Shangoon finds Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. Cranes the three-pointer. Van Vliet's got himself on the board with three there. And he's got a smooth stroke from long range. Van Vliet doesn't just hoist them up. His three-pointers are always going to be high-quality shots. Another three from Steph Curry. This guy is unreal. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And it's Green missing. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. Four-point game. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. Probably the third game of this three-game road trip. Bangs on the trifecta. And, you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Here's Green, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Green's got his first basket of the night. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Curry can't get it to go. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Warriors lead by five. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from the big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Smith. The guard spots are Van Cleet and Green. And it's Shengun in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. They kick it out to Green. Four on the clock. Wiggins. It's rebounded by Houston. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. The score now all even. Not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but finishes like this from Green, I think, demonstrate how tough he is. Curry outside. Rebound by Smith. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Green to take the lead. And Looney sends it back. 
stolen by Brooks. Here's Shengu. Count. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by two. 50 seconds left in the game. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. With the game in the balance, Coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution. He told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. They've got a great ending in store. Guys? All right, David, thanks. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And what a time to get sloppy. A close game like this, you cannot be getting loose with the ball. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Thompson outside from deep. Rebound by Smith. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Brooks knows what's at stake here. No time to panic. Just give this everything you've got. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that ties the game up. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty. There. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. against Van Vliet. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we... Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. We know Curry has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his teammates for easy shots. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by two. 51 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Adams, he's checked in for Alperin Shengu. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Curry against Van Vliet. A shot by Curry, no good. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. Left side, Adams. And it's Looney with the rebound. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And Thompson is so cool under the rest. He, his easygoing personality aiding him in these types of situations. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it a two-possession game. And lead against Curry. Launches a three. Here's Smith. Great T that time from Green. And now they foul and stop the clock. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. What I appreciate most about Green is his leadership. Strong vocally on and off the floor. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. Frames it from downtown. Great poise from Van Vliet there. Shrugging off the pressure and just taking that shot. Timeout called the Warriors. They're in front by three. Just four seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No 
choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Now Van Vliet. The train. So we see the Warriors get the win here. And they had some nervous moment. Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight.